Businessman Larry Hill knows that dogs are a wonderful pet, but he also knows they can be even more than that with the right training. Our Straight from the Streets team, Malik Spellman and Keith O'Derrick, went out to the hood to check out Canine Thrills. Peace, I'm Malik Straight from the Street. You want to know how you and your dog can chill? Well, bring them down to Canine Thrills. Straight in the hood, y'all. <laughs> Why do you think it's important to have a trained dog? Well, uh, a, a lot of people are now starting to buy the dogs, okay, that are uh, large dogs, uh, dogs that are uh, kind of tenacious, and they need to know how to control these dogs, okay? Uh, you hear about all the accidents going on now, pit bulls, Rottweilers, uh, German Shepherds, all sorts of dogs getting loose, biting children. Why is it good to have a dog as personal protection in this day and time? Well, the dog okay, itself is your uh, primary or first line of defense, okay? Late at night, uh, when you're in your home, you're in a comp comfortable situation, okay? You're sleeping, uh, resting, enjoying your company or whatever. You know, people are doing all sorts of crazy things in the street today, you know? At that time, I was only working with Rottweilers, and we were training over on 88th and Avalon at Green Meadows Park. It was more like a hobby, because I had a full-time job. At that time, I was working as a journeyman sheet metal mechanic, and uh, things were going really, really well. And uh, I guess my philosophy kind of sent me in a different direction than most trainers. I don't believe that the dog during this informative year should be separated from the owner. I believe that during this period of time, which is the most crucial part of the dog's life, between say four months and uh, one year, that this, these are the times that the owner and the dog should be more cohesive with one another, that they should be spending more time with one another so that they can understand, you know, uh, each other's body language, each other's emotions. If you don't have the time to be with the dog or if you're too lazy, you know, to uh, want to get out 10 and 15 minutes every day, you know, to spend with this dog so that you can take this puppy and turn this puppy into the dog that you want it to be. You know, my pers personal philosophy is that you shouldn't have the dog. A guy that I had helped, I guess about 12, maybe 14 years ago, I had helped him with some information. Uh, he wanted to get started as a breeder. And he said, uh, I'm getting ready to leave town, man, and uh, what I want is, you know, I want to let you have these two puppies out this last litter that I had. Now, at this time, they couldn't have been no any more than uh, eight weeks old. When he came back around the corner of the house, he just stopped, posted up, got real attentive, and he saw the other puppy that, over there, and it was as if he had never seen him before a day in his life. He immediately just ran over and just ran him over with his body, just knocked him down, right? And the other puppy kind of got up and kind of backed up and looked at him and then Ryder hit him again with his chest, just his body, and just knocked him over. Right then, my decision was made on which dog that I was gonna keep. The one that I wanted to, was the one that had the most confidence, the one that showed the most sincerity, you know, and, you know, uh, just the most drive at that time. So this, that was Ryder, and at the time, he was eight weeks old. Good afternoon. How's everybody today? I want to welcome you here uh, to my backyard here on 31st Street in Los Angeles, California. What we're going to do right now and what I'm going to introduce you to is a piece of equipment that I use in my training and it's called the A-frame. Okay. Ryder, come. Good boy. Come on. Come. Okay. Sit. Stay. Wait. Over. That'll boy. Come. Good boy. That's it. Come on. That's it, boy. Good boy. I really, really, really put a lot of time into getting to know the dog, getting to understand their behavioral habits, getting to understand uh, how the female uh, associates or communicates with her brood or her litter, uh, how she 
can get them to do certain things without any verbal commands, just little clicks, grunts, and groans. And I've kind of designed my, my training on that method of communication. I think it's very, very essential, you know, that you have a very, very close bond with your dog, you know, where, you know, the dog wants to be a part of you. He wants to be a part of your world, but he's still independent enough, you know, to do his own thing and act on his own instincts. Dog. Good boy. Dog. That's it. Good boy. Freeze. Out. Guard. Guard. What I think that the obedience does, it teaches the dog its proper place and it teaches the dog how to respond to you as being the owner, okay, with a favorable uh, response. Uh, I don't want to walk down the street and have my dog snatching me all over the place. I don't want to have to stop and talk to my neighbors and have to restrain my dog and keep my dog from barking and biting and stuff. You can't have uh, intelligent nor comfortable uh, situations nor conversations with people like that. So what you want to do is you want to give your dog the basic element of obedience. You want to introduce your dog to the basic elements of socialization, okay? And then you want to practice these two exercises over and over and over again, introducing the dog to certain situations, teaching the dog how to be comfortable in those situations so that you can take the dog anywhere that you choose. I think it's a very valuable tool because what it does, it gives you a sense of security knowing that your dog is obedient, that the dog is gonna respond, that the dog is not gonna be chasing cats, people, or any other objects down the street then you can kind of relax and then you will have a more favorable time when you want to take your dog out. I've never had a dog that attacked one of my kids and I have seven children and ten grandkids. So I know my philosophy works and I'm going to continue to work this program until I leave here.